monitoring online. Rendezvous with the Atromato should occur shortly. We have a welcome message from Nordum sent the day we left. Greetings from Earth, where I am now three years older. But you're feeling like not even a day has passed. I have no doubt that you are going to be successful in recovering the cargo. And I will send live transmissions after your arrival. Makes you feel all warm and fuzzy. Anything besides obligatory sentiments? Data files from the last three years are downloading. Detecting elevated levels of methane Lots of seismic activity on Titan. Surface visibility Probably a volcano limited. eruption. Shouldn't impact our mission in orbit. In visual range of the Atromatos. Current speed, 445 kilometers per hour. 12 degree elliptical LTO. Something's wrong. The Atromatos has drifted too close to Titan's atmosphere. Duncan, close the gap, quickly. Their hull is going to rupture. Anderson, can you access the ship's mainframe? I've been trying, no response. Zimmer, ready tow line. The Atromatos is 10 times our mass. We'll have to engage keel thrusters simultaneously or we could get pulled in. Thrusters will have to be recalibrated in order to compensate for atmospheric drag. Already on it. We've matched position and velocity of the Atromatos. Maintain speed, compensate for any variance. Tow line and keel thrusters ready. Go ahead. The Atromatos' rotation system is creating Danger. reverse pull. Atmosphere We're getting dragged in. Bypass the ship's mainframe. Access its own control. Integrity. I tried that. We're locked out. We've got about 40 seconds before we lose a Tromatos. Hull integrity. And in 20 seconds, 41%. we'll be put into the atmosphere also. We will not lose a Tromatos. Ideas. I have a workaround. If I clone the internal protocols, it should react as though the commands are coming from inside the ship. Warning. Five Hull seconds. integrity. Critical. Got it. Increased kill thrusters. Magnetic tow line is holding. Traumatos is lifting. We're in the clear. Stop touching. You're confusing your bio signs. Oh, excuse our unbridled celebratory act, Doc. You know, increased adrenaline levels so soon after stasis can be dangerous. What increased adrenaline levels? I have no idea what he's talking about either. Hello, Lyndon. Get back to work. A little communication would be nice. Video signal unavailable. Sorry, sir. We had to momentarily divert power. Audio is working, but outgoing visual signal will be a bit longer. I don't need to see you, Lyndon. I already know what you all look like. Transferring data to main screen. Still nothing from the Atromatos, three months since the last transmission. We've concluded that all of the crew are dead. Respectfully, sir, seems overkill to send us on a salvage operation. I would agree if it were not for the importance of the cargo on the Atromatos, a substance that took the crew two years to extract and to refine. On Titan, a carbon-fixing catalyst that will repair our atmosphere. We have an opportunity to... What? Why isn't it possible to program a robot to be less socially inept? The preferred term is art for artificial humans, sir. I find the need to show cultural sensitivity to a machine beyond stupid. Where was I? Atmosphere repairing compound. Right. Recover the cargo. This mission is vital. We're counting on you. We'll get it done. I know you will. Deep space travel is not for my kind. Too much time out there, and we go batshit. Is that what happened to the Atromatos crew? I'm not sure, but it's a safe bet. Well, success is our only option. I would expect nothing less. Atromatos, Captain's Log, 12 2066. The crew has been working hard these last couple of weeks. The compound has been harvested and is ready for transport. We are only 26 days behind schedule, which is not bad considering all the earlier delays. And once the crew 
clears quarantine, we'll be ready to go. What business sense does it make to send people like us to keep fixing what these preemies keep screwing up? I know I didn't just hear the word preemie to describe non gc human. I meant it in jest. Orson has a point. It does seem our missions always consist of cleaning up messes caused by regular humans. Speaking of cleaning up, the Atromatos is equipped with an ARC, 320 model. Assuming Lulu still functions, she'll be doing domestic duties after we board. We may also need to access her memory to find out what happened on the ship. Oxygen levels on the Atromatos are good. Life support is still functioning also. There's an odd noise coming from inside the ship. What is that? It sounds like a death metal band called Guar from the 1990s. You listen to death metal? Technically, it's classic rock. The situation grows worse by the hour. I fear it'll lead to violent confrontation. It's inconceivable to think that mutiny could occur on a space vessel where life is so fragile to begin with. But there is no other word to describe it. Boarding procedure enacted. Entry system configuration has changed. Code not recognized. Overriding. Black box has been forcibly removed. Greenhouse plants are overgrown. It's a jungle in here. Thank you, Zimmer. You're welcome. clear. Found the ship's art. Is your name Lulu? Yes. Is there anyone else on board? Yes. Who? Crewman, Travis O'Neill. We have a survivor, Travis O'Neill. Where is Travis O'Neill? I don't know. Target lock engaged. I found O'Neill. 
Crew quarters hallway. Zimmer, I need an override for room G of the crew section. Ready when you are. Go ahead. Travis O'Neill, turn around. Cargo container is in here. All communication systems have to be reprogrammed at the root level. On cluster fucking operations could take even longer. I can piecemeal override individual functions, but getting the ship fully operational would be a while. We'll carry on with that. But our objective is finding the cargo, so that should be our primary focus. The cargo tracking system is disabled. Scans found no sign of the cargo nor former crew. The only DNA still present belongs to O'Neill or the plants. What can you tell us about him? Ship's junior engineer. Nothing particularly extraordinary about him. No military training. Academic record, nothing special. Travis O'Neill, engineer. He's a John Doe. Three. There are some nutritional deficiencies. Looks like he hasn't slept in a while, but nothing major. Hygiene has eluded him, so I had the art to shave his hair and give him a bath. Mentally? You pick it. PTSD, depression, depersonalization disorder. Hard to say at this point. Hello, O'Neill. I'm Reginald Linden, captain of the Telios. We were sent here on a rescue mission. Any help you could give us would be appreciated. Who are you in charge of getting information from O'Neill? Why me? We well, have a PhD in psychology. Come on, that was just something I did to take my mind off my Koshi Kovalaskaya thesis. Well, congratulations. You're still more qualified than anyone else. What about the art? Have you accessed her memory banks? Like the ship, Lulu's memory's been wiped clean. Since we're gonna be here for a while, could we do something about these fucking weeds? I recommend transferring O'Neill to the recreation room. There's only one way in or out of the room, but it's a larger space, so he won't feel like he's in prison. That's fine. I hope you had a good sleep. Have you been able to establish contact with the Atromatos? Please let us know the status of the cargo. After three years, that's all I could come up with. Well, I guess we'll just have to figure out how to make the most out of being stuck out here for a while. I guess we will. My father always said it was a waste of time to get a second PhD in psychology, of all things. You know, in none of my years of study did we ever discuss the mental effects of deep space isolation following a traumatizing event. Whatever it was that happened, it must have been terrible. So many people that you knew. I'm sure you developed some good friendships. And I can't even imagine what it must have been like to be alone for so long with only Lulu as your companion.
No reaction to talking about the ship, the crew, or the cargo, or even his past or his family. One thing to get a slight reaction, though. What? Lulu, go to the crew's quarter wing. It's not uncommon for non-GC humans to develop emotional attachments to artificial humans, the same way that they do with pets. This bond is even stronger if the art has sexual characteristics. Arts aboard space vessels wouldn't be equipped with genitalia. O'Neill's an engineer. He's had three years to tinker. That'd be you. Printing complete. Lulu, remove your pants. Apparently, O'Neill also likes pubic hair. Not necessary to know all the details, Orson. How should we use her? Allow O'Neill to be with her from time to time. I want to see if his behavior changes when she's near him versus when she's not. Wouldn't deprivation work? By dangling the carrot, we can withdraw it whenever we want, giving us more psychological control. Oxygen levels, 21%. Nitrogen, 78%. Was that you? Negative. This is Anderson. Can anyone hear me? Lyndon here. What's going on? I'm trying to fix it. Duncan, can you hear me? I'm in hallway three, heading to the rec room now. O'Neill's escaped. Orson, is the passage to the Telio secure? Only voice or hamper recognition from one of us will open it. Fugitive is taking my pulse rifle, though. I'm headed to the cargo bay. Duncan, check the machine room. Machine room is secure. I'm in the cargo bay wing now. Down, O'Neill. I have this handled. O'Neill, our kind treatment is by virtue of our good disposition. Make no mistake, though, our patience is not limitless. Go on, pull the trigger. What are you doing? Do it, O'Neill. The rifles have a fingerprint lock on them. Nothing will happen. I like this lighting. I think it's soothing. Unless you need to see what the hell you're doing. It's accessing the video on the tin files. What is this? Before aggression inhibitors were mandatory, decommissioned arts ended up on the black market and were reprogrammed as fighting bots. Who watches this kind of thing? Regular humans still have a primitive craving for violence. It's no wonder the crew went mad watching stuff like this. They're just machines. Can you turn it off?
O'Neill's more lucid than he's been letting on. What were you doing in there? What were you doing in there? You knew he couldn't harm you. I was trying to get him to talk. And he almost did. I feel like we're being played. You wanted me to handle this. Let me. Make him talk. The temperature gauge get reset in here also. God, it's boiling in here. What? Oh, thank God. No, thank Zimmer. Yeah. One and the same thing in Zimmer's mind. Glad to see we're back at the starting line again. You're welcome. Can we expect any more disturbances? I should have the main system debugged by the end of the day. Any contact with Earthbase yet? Just data transmissions. No video link yet, though. Let's try again. That's it? Yep. In the cargo bay, I asked if you wanted to tell me something. You almost answered. Artists do what they do for different reasons. But most will tell you that they create in order to reveal something about themselves. About the world that they observe, or both. In your paintings, I see serenity on one side and chaos on another. The question is not why you made these creations, but for whom. What's wrong, Orson? I forgot why I came out here. You forgot? When's the last time you forgot anything? The irony is I don't even remember the last time I forgot something. You know Mandarin, right? Tongwa, Xi Sanghai, Chao Zhang Dai, Xiao Tu Kwa, Xiao Tong Bei. 
What do you make of this? Unable. Believe. Near. It's it's garbled. What where, where did you get? O'Neill. He whispered it to Lulu. He speaks Mandarin. Not according to his profile. I'm sending this to you. See what you can make out of it, okay? What did O'Neill say to you? He said that while we are not able to always be close to each other, in his mind, we are together every moment. You've used your time to learn some Mandarin. You think that because Lulu was built in China that you're communicating in her native tongue? You are aware that Lulu has no language preference. She's a machine. Something finally got to you. We treat all living things with humanity and respect, but to us, Lulu is hardware. Bearing that in mind, maybe you can figure out a way to talk to me. Presuming he's lucid, there are options. Military interrogation units have used him with a 75.6% success rate. Side effects? For an unaffected mind, minimal. This is not a normal case, though. I'm not comfortable potentially making him worse than a 75.6% gamble. There are more direct means. Like what? Torture? Don't be so dramatic. Arts couldn't be trusted with this mission because their protected programming prohibits acts of visceral persuasion. We do not have such limitations, and we should make use of that. Visceral persuasion sounds like a nice way of saying torture. Zimmer, I need an override. Printing complete. I was able to get the shower head down, but I can't access the water. Huh, forget how reliant I am on voice commands until they quit working. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, this turns it on and off and sets the temperature. Yeah, thanks. Is that it? Yeah, I think I can manage from here. You sure? What do you mean? I mean, if there's anything else I can assist you with. Oh. Well, that was fast. Can you stay with me? Anderson? I don't want to be alone. What is it? I just... I don't want to be alone. Hey, please stay with me. Detect language. 
s bolšimi ljudmi in svijazni. Tem bolši vlasti on imet na drugih ljudi. Tem bolši biti... Diffuse cerebral hypoxia. I've stabilized his oxygen levels. With some rest, we should make it. How much rest? How much rest? Huh? I don't know. A couple hours a day. Whenever he wakes up. I said whenever he wakes up. I'm sorry. I don't know what we were thinking. Because you weren't thinking. Zimmer assured me he would have all the bugs out of the system by the end of the day. But apparently his mind was focused on primal indulgences also. You think this is my fault? I don't care whose fault it is. Just fix it. I'm running out of patience with O'Neill. As am I. But I think he's trying to tell us something. This mission will not be compromised by delinquent with behavioral issues. We need answers. Now. Hey, Orson. Have you ever known an art to lie before? They are not capable of that. When I asked Lulu what O'Neill said to her in Mandarin, her exact words were, he said that while we are not always able to be close to each other, in his mind we are together every moment. And? Could she have made that up? Arts can be reprogrammed to give incorrect answers to specific questions, but they are not capable of making up answers. When I examined Lulu, I saw no evidence of that kind of reprogramming. Thanks. Our friend has used the past few years to learn both Mandarin and Russian. Iris, that's not just Russian. It's Tolstoy. Чем больше 
the higher a man stands on the social ladder, the greater the number of people he's connected with, the more power. War and Peace, Volume 2, Book 9. My mother is from the East Ukraine, so I grew up learning Russian. To show off my learning ability, she would have me memorize classic literature in Russian and recite it to people. That makes sense for you, but why him? Book search, War and Peace, bookmark, volume two, book nine. Why does it make sense for me? Because your mother is Eastern Ukrainian, where the majority speaks Russian. Yeah, but why have me memorize it? What was the point? He's mind acrobatics. What's wrong? Tell me what it is. You're obviously having some issues. It is fair to contemplate the meaning of our existence, is it not? Read the passage. The higher a man stands on the social ladder, the greater number of people he is connected with. The more power he has over other people, the more obvious is the predestination and inevitability of his every action. So, when is the right time to contemplate the meaning of our existence? Never heard of a invalid who randomly recites Tolstoy in Russian, no less. So that either makes you the most unique case study in human history, or this whole psychologically traumatized thing is a charade. I'm betting the latter. Ce que je dis ne comprend ni les jarrets souhaités de pouvoir pour vous tirer de l'erreur où vous êtes. Vous choisissez en fond ou l'on que je comprends. Et de raisonner ensemble sur les affaires dont nous avons à parler avec un esprit détaché de toute passion. Qu'est-ce que vous dites? Vous trouvez nous de frais et d'accueil? Presque tous les hommes meurent de leur remède et non pas de leur maladie. More literature. Incoming message. I have communications working. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. We received your transmission. I want to reiterate the mission objective. To retrieve and to return the cargo. This is a top priority. Everything else is secondary. I repeat. This is exactly the same thing you said before. Everything else is secondary. It's a recording. We're getting the same message every two hours. You sent our previous message, right? Yes. We'll send them again without encryption. Someone has to respond. To retrieve and to return the cargo. This is a top Understand. priority. Everything else is, wrong is secondary. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. You've never behaved this irrationally before. Stop crying. Emma, stop crying. Act like what you are. Stop crying. Stop it! You okay? This carnal affair nearly got us all killed. The cargo bay door opening was a timer set on the exterior of the ship. I had no way of knowing. God damn it! It's your job to know! Anderson, have Orson look you over. 
Check for post-stasis psychosis or something else. Now! I reviewed the backlog information that was sent during stasis. The first year was thorough, but the second year became more sparse, until it literally ceased about three months ago. As if the information's been purposely censored. For Christ's sake, Zimmer, get over yourself. Turn the mirror around. Since when did you become a temperamental prick? I have work to do. So do you. Ce que j'ai obtenu est quand on n'y jamais souhaité de pouvoir pour vous tirer de l'erreur où vous êtes. Fine literary match. Nearly all men die of their remedies and not of their illnesses. Molière, le malade imaginaire, Act Three, Scene Three. All of your bio signs are normal. Why am I having these emotional reactions? There's nothing wrong with you. We've got to get that cargo out of here now! We'll tear this ship apart if anyone trying to stop us! Operations are fully online. Don't get too excited about it. What have you found? From the beginning, nothing has been a coincidence. The ship was never in any real danger. It was purposely put close to Titan's atmosphere shortly before we arrived. What for? I think it's part of O'Neill's narrative. Narrative? All he's done is mutter random nonsense. He's trying to tell us something. This was embedded in the noise that we heard when we first arrived. Play first vocal track. The cargo will not be compromised. I order the use of deadly force to use anyone who goes near it. Identify voice. Former commander of the Atromatos. The crew didn't randomly go crazy. There was a dispute about the cargo that led to warring factions. Over profits, no doubt. I don't think that the cargo is what we've been told. What about you? You noticed anything about yourself that's different? You have, haven't you? Show transverse hallway aft. Switch to ultraviolet light. These aren't just squiggly lines. It's chemistry. This is a water-based liquid compound reacting with a foreign substance. Show transverse hallway forward. The symbolism here is water. Show cargo bay starboard side. This is where O'Neill was right after his jailbreak. I thought it curious that when I moved, he didn't shift the barrel of his rifle to follow. That's because he wasn't aiming at me. He was aiming at the panel behind me. This is the panel for the main water filtration system. Whatever the compound is, it reacts badly with water. And the cargo bay door opening? That's where the cargo was jettisoned from. None of this helps us find it. What about the nature of the cargo? What if it's harmful to humans? Let's find it before we make that determination. All we have at the moment is cryptic messages from a socially deranged inferior. I'm gonna pretend that you didn't just call him inferior. If it wasn't for people like him, we wouldn't even be here. If it wasn't for people like him, we might not exist at all. Focus on what we came here for. Clever messages. I suppose it would have been too much trouble for you to just come right out and tell us these things. 
What did the compound do? The name of your ship, Talios, in Greek means perfect. Yes, it does. Named after its cr crew of flawless humans. We didn't name our ship. Don't suppose you protested the name either. You've made your point about language acumen. For what purpose? Maybe you missed the Tolstoy quote. The higher man stands on the social ladder. The greater the number of, number of people that he's connected with, the more power he has over other people, the more obvious is the predestination and inevitability of his every action. What do you presume our predestination to be? To bring about the destruction of imperfect people like me. What did the compound do? <laughs> Duncan, what's wrong with your hand? Nothing. I was going to... I don't remember what I was going to tell you. If it were released, the cargo would have been pulled into Titan's atmosphere. The container was designed to withstand re-entry and landing. How do we locate it? Without more information, it would be like hunting for a single grain of sand on a beach. The cryovolcano set off a chain reaction. In days, surface visibility will be almost non-existent across Titan. This is our only trump card. If this doesn't work, we can expect nothing from him. Which is no different than what he's told us so far. He's told us a great deal. Do it. Does anyone care what I think? What do you think, Duncan? No permanent damage. I see you've taken advantage of Zimmer fixing voice control. I have just one question and I need a direct answer. Where is the cargo? Where is the cargo? Down over there, Lily. Raise your left. Last chance to answer. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well made, these aged B-20 units. Titanium. Endoskeleton. Very lifelike. We can't do this. Why? Our mission. We have to stay focused. Fuck our mission. What? How can you say that? When is the last time you did something just because you wanted to do it? You've always been expected to do things. We all have. We're the chosen ones, but the one thing we don't seem to have is a choice because of who we are. We have obligations. Says who? Why do you want me? I can't even control my own emotions. Neither can I. Lyndon was right. I, I shouldn't have made those mistakes. I never would have before. I, I'm distracted. I try to look at this data. I try to do my job, but the only thing I can think about, the only thing that means anything to me is you. But why? I'm a mess. seeing you for the first time. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever laid eyes on. Twenties have most of their vital functions well protected. Except, there is a soft spot right here. But you already knew that, right? Because you've been doing some awesome lots here. There is another soft access panel right behind the cranium. Stop! He speaks. Stop. Tracking codes. Tracking codes. Do ya? Seven one three. Delta Beta. Capital Set. See, that wasn't so hard. It shouldn't have come to this. What does the compound do? I've already told you all you need to know. You've seen how the hard way works. Okay, I'll explain everything. Just allow me to repair her. There's a set of tools in the cargo bay, please.
Zimmer, report to the bridge. Zimmer, report. God damn it, open the door! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, piece of shit? Fuck you! Stop it! Come on, let calm down! Hey, hey. Calm down! Commander. We have work to do. Detecting rectangular object composed of ASTMA A588 alloy. There's a metal container at the tracking coordinates he gave us. Too much methane to get a visual, though. Can we get dimensions? I want to make sure this is not in their game. I don't think he'd be screwing around after what he's been through. We only have a short window. Zimmer, you're coming with me on the landing pod to Titan. Orson, stay back with Anderson and Duncan. Talk first. Sometimes terrible mistakes can only be made right by equally terrible choices. For a year, I tried to forget. I jettisoned the bodies and cargo, raced all memory of it on the ship, including Lulu's. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't erase my own memories. It's the curse of the human brain. So I tried something else. I embraced it. I visualized the death and carnage over and over. Everything I learned and read, I saw reflections of what had happened to me. Though alone, I realized I was connected to the human experience in a way I never understood before. It couldn't be explained by data or the ship's law. This evidence needed to be removed. There's no black and white. Only abstractions. Only the randomness of uncertainty and the pain of choice. All that was left for me was how to tell the story in my own terms. completed the mission. The compound was contained and we were 24 hours from the return flight. Liquor was flowing. He's choking. The compound we got from Titan, the wonderful compound that's supposed to fix the atmosphere, one microscopic bit on someone's glove got through quarantine and into the water supply. One spore made all our water lethal. What do you expect a batch of this could do the water supply on Earth? Was Glencrest told what the compound could do? That's the best part. At this point, all of us thought we were dead. No water, no life. We contact Earth Base, basically let them know that we're fucked, that the compound isn't what they thought it was. But surprise, surprise, he tells us and in storage on the ship, we happen to have a water filtration system designed to eliminate the compound. Proprietary and patent protected by Glencrest, of course. Two sides emerged. 
I remained silent when those who tried to stop the compound from returning to Earth were slaughtered by those who couldn't unleash themselves from the masters of their paycheck. We hate a villain, but still respect them. There's no respect for a coward. Yet you were the only one to survive. How? When you looked at our profiles, did you expect I'd be the only survivor? No. In fact, I did not. That's how I survived. Killing them was easy. They're completely unsuspecting. The compound isn't a cure. They already had the cure. What they needed was the disease. These are the same jackasses who designed all you awesome, perfect GC humans. This will probably be the last time you hear from me. By now you may be experiencing feelings, emotions, things you have never known before. Fear, anxiety, anger, forgetfulness, things you were never supposed to have. Glenn Crest put a proprietary code in the DNA of every GC human. A fingerprint. It was supposed to be inert. A tracking code. But it is mutating. And it is causing irreversible neurological problems. GCs have never known emotions, so they don't know how to control them. And so the downfall is fast. The earth is burning. Regular humans are being hunted down and harvested for their blood. To keep GCs temporarily stable. We have the symptoms. Linden, volatile, Chris, sexual urges. I keep losing my train of thought and this one. A blithering wreck. O'Neill's blood type is O negative, making him compatible to all of us. We must replace some of our blood with his before stasis and hope by the time we get back, they found a permanent cure. How much blood? Two pints for each of us. That will kill him. It will be painless. No decision can be made on that until Lyndon and Zimmer return. The more time that passes, the more like preemies we become. Increasing the odds that we succumb to the same illogic that destroyed the previous crew. How long until they get back? Assuming all goes well, 16 hours. O'Neill is a murderer. Faulty DNA or not, I am still the first officer. We wait. Whatever you say. Put 
put it down. We're continuing to degenerate. The longer you wait, the worse this is going to be for all of us. Meditate. Run on a treadmill. Masturbate. I don't give a shit. Just keep it together. You're out of your mind. just gonna stand there for 16 hours. If I have to. Secure. We have bigger problems now. Its condition is making it difficult for some of us to clearly think. We may all be susceptible to fatal errors like the one Zimmer has been making. That's why we need O'Neill's blood. Nordum said that regular humans were being harvested, which indicates that GC humans still function. It's just our emotional dispositions that have changed. What fucking difference does it make? Clearly, we are unable to perform at the same level. What if the compound is lethal, like O'Neill is saying? How are we supposed to believe anything Glenn Cress is telling us? We will complete this mission, Zimmer. There's no option, no possible recourse, but success. Define success. I know you think I'm a monster, but I have no hidden agenda. I assure you all that my one and only goal is the safety and well-being of this team. Anderson, reiterate the specific protocol for this situation. When it comes to a decision that may result in the death of another human, the majority must be in favor of that decision. All those in favor of extracting O'Neill's blood. Those against? Simmer's judgment's been clouded by a vagina better than clouded by sadism. Either O'Neill dies, or we go insane and we die. It's one versus five, it's math. You're not allowed to abstain, Duncan. What is your vote? Do it. Finally. Duncan, go with Orson case O'Neill causes trouble. I'll stay here to ensure there's no interference. Am I gonna die? Yes. Please, please tell me why. Does it matter? There was a code put into our DNA that's mutating. Your blood is the best chance we have for survival. So you're just human after all. Creating us was the one thing your kind did right. And even that was tainted by greed. I'll take it from here. Don't talk to me like that. I don't trust Orson. Even if he's psychologically deranged, that would be suicidal. I know what I saw. Fine. Draw your own conclusions. What did you see? She thinks Orson's going to kill us all. Orson had put it on a tablet. I saw it in the medical room when he did my examination. What? It said... Hence, when we are able to attack, we must seem unable. When using our forces, we must seem inactive. When we are near, 
We must make the enemy believe we are far away, and when we are far away, we must make him believe that we are near. Quote from Sun Tzu, The Art of War. What you saw was a translation of something that O'Neill said to, to Lulu. It wasn't him who killed the crew. It was her. Fuck, let's go. combat ship she's ever bid our equal. It's not possible to alter the aggression inhibitor in AS320s without disabling the entire unit. Clearly, it is possible, idiot. We don't have time to argue. Turn rifles to maximum. It's the only way we'll have any effect against Lulu's surge protector. You two guard the hallway. She'll be carrying O'Neill, which we can use to our advantage. How long will he remain unconscious? Not long. She took stimulant packs. What do you think her next move is? <laughs> to kill us all. Chris. I need for you to know that no matter what happens. I want you to know that I love you. Anderson. I'm moving in. Cover me. Warning. Power loss sections two, four, seven, and ten. You go after her alone. I don't care. Pointless trying to stop him. We'd be better off using his impulsiveness as a diversion.
clever girl. Kill you with my own hands, but it wastes too much blood. Please let me see her. Your fighting bot or your mechanical mistress. <laughs> I'll admit, even I underestimate the depth of your depravity. I gave her the fighting chip, and she's not my mistress. Excuse me. Fuck Tori. You ready? I didn't alter her physically. You expect me to believe that? <laughs> It doesn't matter now, does it? No. Sometimes terrible mistakes can only be made right by equally terrible choices. What are you talking about? Just something somebody told me once. Let's do this. I was supposed to like this. <laughs> The GC process in the first generation had a 97% success rate. I was the other 3%. My IQ was on par, but my uneven disposition put me in the failure column. I was extremely emotional, written off as a lost cause. I learned to control my undesirable behavior. That's why the DNA mutation hasn't affected me as much as the others. What made you decide not to kill me? You said you didn't alter Lulu physically. She could be repaired. She gave herself sexual characteristics. Why? So we could be closer. She lied when I asked her what you said to her. Did you program her to lie? No. How is this possible? Only if she can answer that. Take her back to the Telios. Go back to Earth, it's your best chance. What about you? I'm staying. When I was young, I nearly killed someone in a rage. They hadn't even done anything terribly wrong. I just, I just couldn't control my temper. I may seem fine now, but you're not safe with me. Tell your story. Tell everybody what happened here. Tell who? What kind of place am I going back to? Do what you do best. Survive. Set course for Earth. Setting course. Arrival at destination in two years, 339 days. 
proceed. For service of Titan. Setting course. Maximum speed. Rapid descent will cause hull rupture entering atmosphere and ship's destruction on impact. Override safety protocol. Authorization required. Destiny of what we ourselves manifest. 